Hello again, LIHTC members. This is Patrick with a fall update for Center for Teaching, Learning, and Technology at Cal Poly. I'll first brief you on progress in the Classroom Technologies Unit and then review highlights from the Instructional Web Support Unit, and then finish by introducing two new CTLT staff members. Last spring, I noted that summer was shaping up to be the busiest ever for Classroom Technologies. Well, it certainly was. The group touched about 70 classrooms with upgrades, technology refresh, and in several cases, major makeovers. You might recall that I include this photo in a last presentation to illustrate how dreary this room and others like it are for Cal Poly students and faculty. This is our big makeover project, and now I can show you the after photo. This classroom now has fresh paint and new window shades for better light regulation. The room's acoustics have been improved with new carpeting over the old tiles a new dropped acoustic tile ceiling, new acoustic treatments on the sidewalls and back wall, all of which should make the room quieter and easier for conversations and, and instruction in this room. The room also has beefed up wireless network access to support learning activities involving students using technology in class. Students will also notice an entirely new set of instructional technology, a new projector, a new brighter screen, a new sound system, a new document camera, and new whiteboards that make instructor writing easier to see from the back of the room than the old chalkboards. Our approach with this project and the others was to tackle the most used spaces, which also happen to be the largest classrooms, to benefit the most students. And our approach was not only to improve the instructional technology for faculty, but to improve the learning spaces for students. We're going to tackle a bunch more lecture space in classrooms next year with another allocation of student success fee money. So with this support, we're beginning to make a real difference in what is actually a huge learning space upgrade project. In addition, the Classroom Technology Group helped the College of Science and Math design about 40 new classrooms, as well as having total responsibilities for seven new classrooms in the new Science and Math building. They're all completed, and right now they're open for fall quarter. Here's one of the new, of the new classrooms, equipped with desks that are on casters, designed to facilitate student collaboration. The chairs can be gathered in pairs or pods for group work. This is the largest lecture hall in the new building. You can see the lit whiteboard, the large projection screen, and the high quality sound system to support the use of multimedia and in instruction. All the classrooms in the building, by the way, have uh, beefed up Wi-Fi coverage to accommodate student use of online resources as intentional learning activities. Now to updates from the Instructional Web Support Unit. One of the major accomplishments for this group is one I previewed for you last spring when we were preparing to offer a new workshop supporting faculty to use a flipped instructional design. Briefly, the idea of flipping instruction is to move what usually happens in the classroom, which are lectures, to online. And that allows us to move what usually happens out of the classroom, problem solving, group work, application of concepts, into the classroom space. This approach is an excellent fit for Cal Poly's learn by doing approach and turns instructors into coaches and learning facilitators instead of talking heads. This is a screenshot of the online portion of the course, of the workshop. The workshop itself was designed as a flip workshop with lots of online materials for the participants that supported hands-on activities when they came together in the classroom. The workshop series attracted faculty for all 20 slots available in the June edition of the workshop. This is the first time we've offered a summer workshop series, which confirmed our expectation that faculty would be willing to set aside time for professional development when they're not teaching courses. Workshops occurred over 12 days after classes ended in, early, in, in late June and uh, ended in early July, and, and participants put in about 45 hours each. So it was a substantial investment of their time. We had a terrific experience with the group, and the feedback was quite positive. So positive that we proceeded with our plans to offer the same workshop a second time in late August, early September before classes began. We attracted another 17 faculty and had terrific outcomes. We'll share more on this approach and this program at the LITAC meeting. I also wanted to note that in anticipation of acceleration of iPad adoption across campus, this group has prepared an extensive iPad support website. Faculty can use this to get them up to speed on using tablet technology for instruction as well as personal productivity. And students who are adopting iPads fairly rapidly can use it uh, as well to improve their abilities to use them for learning and professional productivity in addition to the social and entertainment um, uses that we know they are already very good at. 
This group has also been making significant uh, progress supporting the folks on campus who maintain the various websites by helping them transfer to Drupal, an easy-to-use system for website maintenance. They've transitioned more than 100 sites across campus to the Drupal system, transferring files, having improved content. This has been a huge service for the campus. The last major update is about two new CTLT employees. Matt Lesky is our new writing instruction specialist and will work with faculty to support better teaching of writing skills. Robin Parent is the inclusive excellence instruction specialist and will work with faculty as they strive to teach in ways that are more inclusive and supportive of diversity. Both of these topics are ones that are high on the university priority list to address um, uh, urgings of the accreditation committee to make some improvements uh, for next report. So I'm, they've got off to a really good start and they've been a terrific, terrific addition. So that's it for now. In the interest of time, I'll wrap it up. Look forward to seeing you at the meeting.